be Grim and welcome back to the video series about how to fly in X-Plane. This is a prologue or introductory or appetizer uh, video for the theory of level turns. And the reason for this is very simple. You may think that everything related to turns are really easy. Uh, that when the wings are parallel to the horizon then the aircraft goes straight ahead and when you tilt the wings to the left then the airplane turns to the left and when you tilt or bank the wings to the right then the airplane turns to the right so uh, it isn't that hard what there is to talk about well I can say that there are quite many small details uh, that can make your flying difficult or uncomfortable or that can really bite you if you are unaware and unprepared. So in this video I want to reveal uh, just one of the small details and many more will come in the future videos. So this is the uh, cockpit of a Cessna 172 that you should all be familiar with. Uh, in this uh, cockpit on the dashboard there are quite many uh, different instruments. However this time I want to talk about one instrument in particular, the attitude indicator. Attitude indicator is very easily identifiable instrument due to its uh, special nature. It is the only instrument that has two sides. Usually it has the upper blue side and lower side which is usually colored brown. In order to make things more interesting I want to bring in another aircraft, King Air C-90B, which is also part of uh, standard X-Plane installation. This aircraft however has a digital attitude indicator and while the instruments are different uh, in nature, one is fully analog and another is digital, they both actually show pretty much the same information. For example, uh, the blue side on both instruments represents the sky. Both instruments has the brown side which is crowned and uh, between uh, there is a white line on both the instruments representing the horizon. Also uh, both instruments have uh, attitude scale uh, which uh, has the markings for uh, different pitch angles and finally in the middle there is an attitude marker which shows the present attitude or pitch angle. However uh, what I really want to concentrate uh, on these instruments is the upper side and that's where the bank angle indicator is situated. Uh, again uh, both mm, bank angle indicators show pretty much the same kind of information for example in the middle there is the uh, degree marker for zero degree bank angle and also there are other uh, degree markers for 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees and both of them also have marker for 60 degree bank angle and in digital version there is also additional marker for 45 degrees bank angle. Uh, the same markers also go the uh, other side so that instruments are symmetrical uh, and finally uh, in the middle there is a bank angle marker uh, which shows the current uh, bank angle that the aircraft has. Uh, so, uh, but now I would like to ask you to consider the following situation. Uh, you fly manually but you do not have the real horizon in front of you. That means you are either in the clouds or you are flying for example night. So you have to use attitudes indicator to, keeps, uh, to keep the wings level. Uh, however <coughs> you need to take your eyes off the instruments to deal with uh, radius, GPS 
and refer to the map on your uh, legs. Uh, you think that it takes just a brief moment to do those things. So you deal uh, your uh, things and once done you return to check the attitude indicator to verify that you are still flying wings level. However, this is what you see on the attitude indicator. Both of the, those cases uh, you see that you are 20 degrees uh, banked. Uh, although surprising, the situation is actually uh, quite easy to fix. Uh, you simply need to roll the aircraft to the correct direction uh, back to wings level and the problem is solved. However, to do so, you need to figure out which way the airplane is banked. So, in which way is it banked to the left or to the right? You may uh, say that actually this is very easy, as the bank angle marker is situated on the left uh, side, then the airplane must be banked to the left. Well, let's see. On the first case, you are absolutely correct. Uh, the bank angle marker was situated on the left, it was showing to 20 degrees bank angle on the left side, so the airplane was uh, indeed banked 20 degrees to the left. However, let's see what the uh, second case shows. Oops, the uh, airplane is banked to the right, even as the bank angle marker is uh, located on the left side of the bank angle indicator. Uh, so it is quite confusing. And uh, actually what I can tell you is that uh, uh, usually small mm, airplanes like Cessna 172 and other of its kind use the mm, attitude indicator similar to the one on the left side and usually more complex aircrafts, including airliners, usually use attitude indicator uh, similar to the King Air mm, here on the right side. So there are two kinds of uh, attitude indicators uh, present on aircrafts. Uh, however, uh, regardless of the confusing behavior of attitude indicators and the bank angle indicators, as soon as the real horizon uh, will become visible, all confusion would be gone. Because real horizon never lies, and uh, according to real horizon it is really easy to tell which way the airplane is banked. Uh, so, before uh, I would end this short video, I want to also give you a little exercise. Why seemingly opposite indication? Both um, instruments show the bank angle, but they seemingly show it opposite way. Uh, and in order to make your life a little bit easier, I would also like to give you two hints. Uh, fly around with both aircrafts and find out the answers to the following questions. Uh, what part of the attitude indicator is fixed to the instrument and or aircraft? And second, what part of the attitude indicator is so-called floating and free and always remain vertical? Uh, and once you find questions or once you find answers to both of these questions, uh, I am quite sure that you can also find an answer to the question why seemingly opposite indication. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you already in the next video where I'm going to uh, cover more uh, little details about the level turns. And so for so long fly safe and thank you for watching. Bye.